today I'm making the fish cakes from the Healthy Food Made Easy cookbook and it's on page 66. I have 340 grams of hake. You can use salmon, you can use uh, cod, really you can, you can use any fish um, and you can use leftover fish from the, from the day before and it's a great recipe to use up leftover fish. I also have mashed potato. Again, it can be used from the day before. There is 450 grams of the mashed potato. I have a medium onion, finely chopped, um, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and uh, one egg. I have about 50 grams there of breadcrumbs, and I have some chopped parsley, about that much parsley chopped up finely. So the, the first thing I need to do is I want to cook my fish. So I'm gonna pop it into Fish has bones in it. Actually, because it's hake, there isn't a huge amount of bones. The bones are all one end. Um, so, but it still has its skin on there. And what I can do is now you, you can always ask your butcher to skin it and bone it for you. That's one option. Uh, what I'm going to do here though is pop it all into a saucepan with a little bit of water and cook it for about five minutes and then just crumble the, the fish flip the fish off the skin and remove any um, bones and then it's ready to make our fish cakes. A little bit of water here to my to my fish and you can see it's starting to bubble up there. I'll just turn it down to a simmer and I'm going to leave it for about five minutes to cook all that fish. So that's all the skin has been removed. I'm just going to check it now to see if there's any bones. Okay, and so here's my mashed potato. So it's good to use a floury potato. Some potatoes are very waxy. A nice floury potato makes a much better job of mashed potato. So I'm going to put two teaspoons of the lemon juice in. Uh, this is my onion. I've it really finely chopped. Uh, now, just to point out in the recipe, it doesn't actually say when to add it, but it's here. This is the point that you add it. Two tablespoons, about two tablespoons of parsley there. This is a great way of adding, sneaking in a little bit of extra veg if you have a fussy eater in the house. Um, what you can do is replace half the potato with, with any veg really, but uh, I often use um, cauliflower that I have cooked and left over and mash that up in the same way as I mash the potato. Mash it when it's warm, mash it in with the potato um, and you're getting extra veg in family don't even know about so it's brilliant but you can put broccoli you can put carrots you can put any mashed veg in with this and um, just replace some of the potato with the mashed veg So these are the breadcrumbs that I made. Uh, I used this, this um, <clears throat> whole grain bread with chia. Um, but as I said, you could use bits of wheat bix in with that, just to add a little bit of extra fiber. You could put in some porridge oats as well. If you have a potato scoop, you could just, this is a good way to get your kind of portion control. So take a scoop, put it into your hands, Flatten it out and then into the breadcrumbs. So I'll do another one like that. I'll just do one with a spoon because just to show you that you don't have to use 
any particular equipment. So there I have, make it into the shape. So these can be grilled or they can be fried. Okay. Okay, so here I have some flour. I'm just going to tap off the excess flour. I don't need big chunks of flour on this. Some egg. Just flip it over. Now let the excess. And then into the breadcrumbs. So that's the two different types here. These ones have been done with the egg and these ones were done without. So you'll probably get more breadcrumbs on it with the egg than you will without. But you can see they're still fine. They're still fine. There's still plenty of breadcrumbs. then you can pop them under the grill or uh, you can put them into the oven. Okay, so I'm going to fry these potato cakes. A little bit of oil in the pan. So you can see this one here, this potato cake here, um, was the one that I put the egg and flour on. And the rest of them, you can see that they split a little bit more. Now a lot of that is because I'm turning them in the, the frying pan. So here on the grill tray, this is the one here that had the egg. And you can see all of the rest of them look very similar. So that's the one with the egg. You can see it's just a slightly different consistency. I suppose the, the breadcrumb compacts into it a little bit more. What I want to do first is make up a quick salad. So I have just put four spoons of olive oil into a glass here. And I'm going to put one spoon of uh, white wine vinegar so you can use white wine vinegar or red wine vinegar uh, either will work up fine uh, so one spoon of that so a little bit i'm going to add a little bit of pepper So that on its own will work as a dressing. Uh, you could also add a little bit of honey for sweetness. I am just going to add this tiny bit. Uh, I have about a half a teaspoon I've gone in there. You could just grate a little bit of garlic into your dressing. enough I'll use that garlic later on uh, for another dish and that is the dressing ready to go now what I would suggest you do is maybe not dress your salad you can just serve it in a little jug or um, even just in a, in a cup with a teaspoon or a glass with a little teaspoon um, just so that people can serve themselves not everybody wants dressing and it's a great way to, great way to reduce the fat intake if you're not having having a huge amount of dressing um, so okay so I have some mixed leaves here um, I bought a packet of mixed leaves and I added a little bit of iceberg to it because I like a little bit of a crunch so I'm just gonna add a few pieces of cucumber um, I have some yellow peppers so all this will add color as well as flavor red peppers Chopped red tomato. I've seen 
Mash up some chopped tomato. And some scallions. I'm also going to add a little bit of carrot. I peeled this carrot. So you've got two options here. A few options, loads of options. You can just grate it with a grater. You could also, after you have it peeled, just peel off a few shavings like that. It's another way to add it. So all I need to do now is add a little bit of dressing and add my fish cakes. Oh, they look fantastic. What I would say about the ones that are in the grill, <clears throat> they're far easier, to, there's, there's less work. You put them into the grill and you leave them. Uh, obviously you need to keep an eye on them. The one thing is that you could forget, you know, out of sight, out of mind, but um, they're definitely a lot easier to manage. Uh, when you have to be turning these, and I had to add oil a few times to the pan to stop them from burning, so that wasn't the case with the ones from the grill. And you can see that they look, actually they're right, there's a better colour on the grill ones. I'm going uh, to just dress my salad with just a little drizzle of dressing. Okay, and that's it. So looking forward to eating it. Looks great.